Let's discuss the concept of the majority of the world playing with a more or less flat arm, level arm, level wrist position in the piano. If you hold your hand up like that and just let, let it fall, look this free of gravity because the gravitational force is pulling the hand down at the wrist and pulling the fingers down and you have no counter force. But if you flatten out the arm, flatten out the hand, flatten out the wrist, you have to fight the counter force of gravity in order to pull that hand and the arch, uh, get rid of that wrist arch and pull the hand flat. What have you done? You are under constant tension. Whether you not you think you are, you are under tension. You just let it drop. Now you're not under tension. Under tension? Not under tension. So if you can play and release, and most of the time being in that position, you'll be most of the time under no tension because you're not fighting gravity to get back here. P players who are playing like this all the time are under constant fighting of gravity and putting stress on all of this mechanism, tendons and muscles, just to fight the gravitational force, the weight of the hand. F equals MA, F equals MG. Newton's law, force. Force met with counterforce. Why do you want that counterforce in your playing? So now that explains why you need to have this free arch and free fingers and everything moves faster and freer because there's not under, you're not under any tension. It's a natural technique. If you're picking up an object, you're picking it up like this. An animal will naturally attack you like this. So why not do what nature has designed you to do and to play like this. And if you look at all of Glenn Gould's videos, he's got that wrist arch, he's got that lower elbow, and he had the world's fastest fingers, arguably. And why? His fingers were free. They weren't fighting gravity. So he was able to do this, independent fingers. So I'm gonna use a little demonstration here of a block chord progression to demonstrate the pulling mechanism so I'm going to start with my wrist arch. I'm going to put my hand in this position. And you're going to pull. And the amount of pull that I give on the key, look, it gives a natural uh, rebound into the wrist. So you pull the note. And the wrist rebounds. And the amount of pull you give it is the dynamic. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little less. So if I do, that was a crescendo through that passage. And almost the entire time when I wasn't pulling, the hand was free from gravitational force. I didn't have any counterforce going into the hand. So I pull, release, pull, a little more, release, pull a little more, a little more, release, pull a little more, yeah. And I got that top note to ring because I'm tilting the hand. When your wrist is like this, you can tilt the hand so much more. You've got so much more range to move the hand when all the flat hand players of the world have very limited range on lateral wrist movement because they're in tension here and they have all that tension is holding back the hand from lateral rotation. Here with this, you've got like two or three times the amount, almost 180 degrees of lateral rotation in the wrist because there's no tension here preventing the wrist from moving.